Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. You're watching Spotlight on Union. I'm Edith Thomas bringing you updates on all of our local events. The Union Recreation Department presents Learn to Skate at the Union Sports Arena, running until April 5th with days and times varying for a total of six classes. The program focuses on basic instruction and technique and is perfect for beginner and intermediate skaters. For more details, visit uniontownship.com backslash recreation, call 908 Six eight six four two zero zero, and follow on Instagram at TWP Union NJ Rec. The Union Recreation Department welcomes you to join their open gym running until March 31st. Open to Union residents only, come enjoy numerous activities throughout our schools, ranging from Zumba to basketball of all ages. Their open gym is waiting for you. For more details, visit uniontownship.com, call 908-686-4200, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ Rec. Continuing on our Black History Month celebration, Mayor Figueredo, joined by fellow committeeman Bowser and committeeman Florio, attended our Black History Month pop-up art gallery. The night was filled with amazing talent. Let's check out some of the phenomenal artwork that was there. Hi, this is Mayor Figueroa, and again with our second event from our Black History Month celebration. And we're here at our art exhibition. Now, it's been about three to four years since we had one of these because of the pandemic. So it's wonderful. You can hear some of the sounds behind us and the wonderful artwork that's around his. And I'm going to begin with a gentleman that is to your right, who his work is here also featured tonight. Our newly elected, newly on board committeeman, James Bowser Jr. Jim, tell us a little bit about some of your work, what you have here today. Well, I have a number of pictures that I have taken over the years. Actually, I started taking photog really doing photography many years ago. Over the last 10 years, I've had the opportunity to uh, join the camera club that gave me some of the science of taking quality pictures. But I've taken pictures in Mexico, I've also taken some local pictures here in Union, so it's really been a great experience for me to take pictures here and, at this, and show my pictures here. But I'd also like to make a comment about the activity here today. It's really great to see so many people here really enjoying themselves. There are a number of artists in the room who are really displaying their work, and there's a lot of talent here. So I just want to say this has really been a great, great, great event, and uh, it's just really fantastic. And you know what's great about it, Jim? It's not just adults like you and the others here. There are youth artists here today, people from Kiwami Middle School, Burnett Middle School, and Union High School, which we just gave some uh, recipients of some awards that we did earlier on. So it's all ages. It's a, it's a place to showcase some of the work that our young people also do. Absolutely. This has been fantastic. Like I said, I'm an amateur photographer. I've been taking them for 10 years, but I've seen some work here that, you know, it's, it's been phenomenal. You have artists here who actually I call really talented. We have some painters here, and we also have some live music. We have a musician here that's what, what they would say off the chain. She's off the chain. So like I said, it, come down and enjoy. Is that a saying that I don't know, off the chain? That's another one I don't know, huh, Jim? I think so, but we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. You need to educate me on that. And Assemblyman Atkins is also here. He's kind enough to join us here today. Assemblyman, your thoughts on some of the beautiful artwork that we've seen here today? Mayor, honestly, this is such a great event because we're celebrating black history, but we're also celebrating black excellence. And it's happening right here in Union. And it's just a great event because you have the seasoned and we have the young coming together. And that's what community is all about. It's happening right here in Union, Black History Month, and it's all about black excellence. Thank you for having this event. This is excellent. And we thank you for coming here because I think your presence here just puts a nice exclamation mark for all the artists that are out here today. And they have the pleasure and honor of having your presence here. 
to witness their artwork. So thank you for coming out. Uh, Deputy Mayor, your thoughts? You had a chance to roam around some of the artwork. And all I'm going to say before the Deputy Mayor speaks is I want Jim Bowser to take us to the places where he took the pictures because I saw Hawaii in there also. One of my favorites. One of your favorites, right? Yes. Okay. Hawaii. Okay. We're going to work on that, Jim. Sounds like a plan. Along with educating me on that chain thing <laughs> off going the chain. on. Off, off the chain. Off the hook. Off the hook. <laughs> Woke. <laughs> Deputy Mayor, your thoughts? Well, first of all, I like to say off the charts, but that's a different story. <laughs> but uh, as you can hear in the background, there's a great turnout. There's so many people here. And as you walk around the room, it's also a learning experience because some of these people actually took the time to depict what their interpretation is of their culture on a blank ca canvas. That's a wonderful thing. Committeeman Florio, your thoughts? You know, uh, when I come to an event like this, it's amazing when I see the artwork. And remember, all this artwork is done by local people, mostly here, actually here from our Union Township, which is great. But when you look at paintings, and then on the back wall, we have a whole bunch from our middle school. That's 11 and 12 year olds with great paintings. One thing I could never do is draw anything. I'm terrible. So when I see paintings like this, I just marvel. I know I have a grandson who's able to do fantastic sketches too. How people do this amazes me, but great night. Really great for, for I think, for our town to show off our people and what they can do in terms of art. I'm Committeeman Bowser and I'm here having a great time. There's a lot of artists here showing their great work. A lot of talented people. What I have here is some of the work that I've done over the last 10 years. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm also, I also attended a camera club where I kind of learned the science of taking the pictures. But here are some of my vacation shots. I, I have a couple here from Hawaii, which I would go to every now and then. Also, I have a couple of shots local. I have a shot that was taken right here in Union off of Vauxhall Road, Costa de Sol. I took a picture of, their, of the flower bed in their parking lot. Here I have a picture of uh, a flower at, at the uh, Echo Lake Park. What's unique about this picture is that there's a prayer mantis sitting right there in the middle of the flower. So I actually walked by, saw that, and took the picture. Here's a picture that I took actually in, in the living room of a friend's house while the TV was glancing light off the, uh, the table. So again, it was just a matter of composition. I took a picture here while I was at Sandy Hook sitting there while the seagulls were pecking at my food, I decided to take my camera out and put them to work for me. So again, these are some of the pictures I've taken. I'm an amateur photographer here amongst a lot of talented people. So I'm really enjoying myself today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Miyoshi Acevedo, and I'm a local artist here in Union, right on Caldwell. I love being invited to an event that celebrates black excellence. I'm all about that theme, and I hope everybody appreciates my art. Hi, I'm Dee Matthews Chadwick, and I am the painter here. I do acrylic work, and I feel wonderful about the event today. I'm glad it's back. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be invited about it. This is four pictures I brought today. I call this one Joanne because of the legs. My sister had gorgeous legs, so I named the picture Joanne. Um, this is a painting of Argentina because I love the vintage cars and I love to paint children. This is a picture of Ocho Rios that I loved. It was a wonderful trip I went on with my friend Barbara and I just loved it, so I brought that one. And this is one of my favorite pictures. I'll never sell it. Um, a picture of my dad and um, his friend in World War II. And I just enjoy painting. I'm doing another one now, a vintage of 1984. You can imagine what that one is like at the Bronx Zoo. But it's, it's wonderful and I love it. It relaxes me, keeps me going, keeps me invigorated. Hi everyone, my name is Maylisa, short for May. I have an art studio at 969 Stuyvesant Avenue, where I'm an artist, and I host a couple of events all over there, sipping paints, also right, as you can see back here, I have paintings, I also do my artwork on clothing, coasters, I do kids' events, so much more. So I just want to say today was such a great, phenomenal day, met beautiful people, this right here is like, catered to the artist, and I felt so, so in place, I feel at home. My name is Giftus John, I'm from Union. And um, this is my second involvement in this event. And um, I can't complain. Very good afternoon. Nice display by everybody. Well, my name is Christopher Ransom. Uh, I'm a 
I'm originally from Boxall, New Jersey, small section of uh, Union Township, and um, I'm an artist. Um, I've been doing art forever. Um, I've been inspired uh, through family members and things of that nature. And at first, my art was just to take my mind off of things, and I just, I just was good at it. So I'm a part of Sour Clothing on 2059 Springfield Avenue across the street from Joe's Pizza. This event is very supportive of people and their art. And uh, I didn't know this because this is my first year. I'll be attending and maybe even trying to help hold something bigger than this for the community and, and the upcoming uh, in the upcoming years. But um, and it's amazing for people to think of my art, you know, more amazing than I think of it, you know, because I just do it. You know, it's what, I, it's what everybody else sees. But I love the event, and I'll definitely be doing this and seeing everybody again in the near future. Thank you. Again, a wonderful event uh, that we have here today. Such an important part of our heritage here, not only in the country, but right here in Union, New Jersey. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you haven't stopped by our Food Truck Thursdays at Beer Temple Park, what are you waiting for? Running until May 25th, this season we are excited to offer an array of food trucks and food vendors every Thursday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Vendor lineup changes weekly, so stay up to date by visiting uniontownship.com and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ. Registration is still open for the Winter 2023 Fashion Sewing Classes with our Recreation Department and Fashion First Workshops. Work on a trendy new and creative project on Wednesday, February 22nd, and every Wednesday in March. The workshop is for eight weeks and open to all skill levels. No sewing experience necessary. For more details and to sign up, visit uniontownship.com backslash recreation. And for any questions, email Renee at fashionfirst2workshops.com. Love was definitely in the air last week as we celebrated Valentine's Day with multiple events. Let's first take a quick glance at our speed meet, which was held at Lagar Restaurant. Earlier this month, professionals looking to network, make friends, and even make a romantic connection met at Lagar Restaurant for Union Special Improvement District's first ever speed meet, Networking Mingle Valentine's Edition. DJ Greatness set the vibes for the night, and Union TV's very own Edis Damas emceed the event. Appropriately themed for Valentine's Day, participants were paired up and given five minutes to connect. Each table had icebreaker questions, either funny or flirty, depending on the mood. Even Mayor Figueredo joined in on the fun. At the end of the speed meet session, participants had the opportunity to continue mingling and were treated to drinks and appetizers, courtesy of Lagar Restaurant. To stay tuned for more events hosted by the Union Special Improvement District, visit UnionCenterSid.com or follow us on Instagram at UnionCenterSid. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned to learn more about our upcoming events. Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms. On Instagram, follow at TWP Union NJ and at Union TV 34. On Facebook, we're at TWP Union NJ. And you can always watch some of your favorite videos on our Vimeo page. Hey, boss. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I said I'm fine. Since I was little, it was only like me and my parents. You think you created family out of characters? Yeah, <laughs> of course. I'm gonna take that and make it into a song. Really, really hard for me. 
Welcome back. I'm Edith Thomas and you're watching Spotlight on Union. Online registration is now open for our Union Recreation Department's Winter Volleyball Clinic for beginner and intermediate players. The clinic will be the following Fridays, February 24th and March 3rd, located at the Burnett Middle School Gym. For cost and more details, visit uniontownship.com backslash recreation, call 908-686-4200, and follow on social media at TWP Union NJ Rec. The Union Municipal Band is looking for new members. Musicians who play any instrument of all ages are welcome. Band rehearsals are on Monday evenings at Hannah Caldwell School. Ten concerts are performed throughout the year, including special concerts at Earhart Gardens and Putnam Manor. If interested, contact the Recreation Department at 908-686-4200. UPD PBA Local 69 will be showcasing their football skills on the turf of MetLife Stadium from March 3rd to March 5th for the UPD Special Olympics fundraiser. For over 20 years, our local officers have been playing a major role in volunteering and assisting the Special Olympic Games and Special Olympics in New Jersey. Donations are needed to support officers in the 17th Annual Snowball. Visit support.sonj.org backslash team backslash 459384. Finishing off the Valentine's festivities, the Special Improvement District held a two-day sip and paint event that catered to couples and Galentines. Let's take a look. Beyond Yarn, together with the Union Recreation Department, present knit and crochet for ages 8 to 16 every Friday in March from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Classes will be held at Beyond Yarn, 1023 Stuyvesant Avenue. This five-week program is open to both beginner and experienced knitters and crocheters. Sign up today at uniontownship.com backslash recreation or call Beyond Yarn for more information. Hannah Caldwell PTA is hosting their Spring Marketplace Saturday, April 29th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. located in the Union School parking lot, 1120 Commerce Avenue. The event will feature local vendors, music, food trucks, a kids area, and a 50-50. They are also currently looking for vendors. For more information, email PTA at gmail.com. 
And that's it for this edition of Spotlight on Union. Join me again for more news and events happening in your hometown as we once again put the spotlight on Union. I'm Edith Thomas, and thank you so much for watching.